Hi guys, I'm just going to do a little vlog on the poopy camera, the shit camera. Uh, I'm actually waiting for Mum to ring back. I just remembered she was going to ring back, so the phone could ring. <laughs> uh, two things on my mind that I'll get off my chest and out of the way, so if you want to fast forward the video, feel free. Um, the first thing, it's a small matter, but it was highly annoying. I was outside, <coughs> out back of the building, locking my bike up, putting some bikes back in the shed and locking the shed up and whatnot. And when I do that, I always latch the door open, especially as I was going to bring up Grandpa. I had him out this morning for a nice little ride to the store. Um, but while I was out there, I was actually walking back to the back door from the shed, and I just heard it go click because someone had actually come out of their flat and shut the fucking door on me. Doesn't usually bother me, you know, if I haven't got to take anything upstairs, you know, no bags, no bite, no nothing wouldn't bother me, but fact, I was going to bring a bike upstairs, it did tick me off a little bit. That happens quite a lot. The number of times I've been going in and out, taking things up and down the stairs, and I'll go back and find someone shut the freaking door on me. Anyway, the other thing is, uh, I only found this out literally ten minutes ago. My dad was taken to hospital last night. It seems, um... I can't remember what the glucose scale is we use here in the UK, but, uh... His sugars were well up in the 40s. Well, normal blood sugar level on the scale we use should be around about 5, 5.5. Um, a few hours after eating... And, it should in, and a normal increase should only go up to, well, it should be less than 10 um, once eaten. His was well up in the 40s. And uh, my brother said Sunday when he asked if um, my brother stays over at Dad's most weekends, um, my brother wanted to know if Dad would take him to Roxham, I think it was, and he was still in bed at, like, 11 o'clock in the morning, which is highly unlike him. He's, he's always been the type of guy that will get up 8, 9 o'clock on weekends. Um, actually, in fact, when we were growing up, he was um, usually up earlier than that. Even on weekends, he was never one for, no, Sunday, sorry, he used to lay in a bit. Um, but during the week, you know, always that early because he always had to go to work. But I think what annoyed me, or both me and my brother, is that no one told us till today. My brother didn't actually know till this morning. I don't know why he didn't tell me on Messenger earlier, but I'm not holding it against him. It would have just, it's not that much of a big deal. It, was just, it would just be nice to have been told, you know. Because <clears throat> then uh, my brother works for um, our dad's girlfriend's daughter's partner, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> um, and they've got obviously my brother's phone number and whatnot. So, assuming they knew, they may not have, but assuming they knew, they could have, you know, messaged my brother at least and just said, Hi, oh, your dad's just been taken to hospital, nothing serious, but I uh, just thought we'd let you know, you know, something like that. that it would have just been nice. Because um, we never used to know when our granddad was in hospital which used to piss us all off. We didn't even know when he died, actually. No one told us. No one told us. 
as such, no one got any, you know, possessions of granddads or anything, you know, little mementos. Not even my dad, his own son. Thanks to that bitch. But never mind, I won't go into that one. <laughs> That's family for you. <sighs> Come on, mother, you ring back? You said you were going to say goodbye to my sister and ring me back. Unless my sister is still there, because sometimes she can take forever to leave. There we go! I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, Mum did phone. As you know, because you heard the phone ringing. <sighs> so, not sure what I'm doing tomorrow now. Uh, Mum did say she's got to come to town to get a few bits, a few groceries, and she's got a meeting at work as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm just sitting on the bed. Turned on really. I feel so tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night either. I'm about to settle down after watching the Cleveland show and two and a half men. Then I start feeling anxiety and I had heartburn to go with it. I sat up in bed watching Vampire Diaries while uh, I waited for that to subside. It's actually worse when I laid down. So. I just chewed on a couple of that acids while I just sat in bed watching the Vampire Diaries. Which is unlike me because I don't normally watch anything like that, but I thought I might as well leave the TV on. <sighs> I haven't actually done a lot today. Well, I have. I've been making videos for YouTube. I've got two more on PC in the bedroom, on the Vio. I've got two on here already, on the main PC, ready to be uh, edited, edited uh, there. I'll try that again. Edited up and uploaded when I'm ready. Uh, I did have more than... I've taken a couple of toys apart and filmed me doing that, but uh, they're all on, on one video file because uh, I forgot to go through and stop it when the first video had um, finished. So I did one after the other, so it doesn't matter. I can just um, export it from Gigabit whatever it's called on there, Giga Pocket, that was it. And uh, I can just separate the two bits of video from um, each other using my PC. I can do that in movie make. That's not a problem. It's just more work. <laughs> That's why I was going to try and stop the record and start it again when the next one started to play. But, uh, no, that didn't quite work. <laughs> Doesn't matter, as I said. Doesn't matter. So, uh, before I hit the sack tonight, it's coming up to quarter to 12. I'm going to get this one uploaded tonight. I've been slacking because I did last night's this morning. <laughs> Only because it got so late last night, I couldn't be asked. But, uh, yeah, I'll do this one tonight. I did have some more toys to take apart, but I've done a couple because. They were just boring. I think the other one is as well, so I may not bother, so I may try and find something else to take apart. As for this, I've taken the horn off and both bike bells. Don't know anyone that wants a Snow White bike bell, do you? I think a Snow White, yes, a Snow White. This one's going to go on Claudia, the hybrid. I like the colour of that one, that's actually quite nice. 
and the horn. The horn is actually on Grandpa, which is now outside on the landing. <coughs> I decided to put the horn on him. <laughs> right. And I wasn't going to take that motor apart, but I kind of did, now I can't get it back together. <laughs> Never mind. Curiosity got the better of me. Right. And the battery is slowly going on this. I'm going to need some battery life to get the connection. No, I don't do I? I just take the bloody memory card out. Right. It's quite warm. A week on, almost, and that clock is still ticking away. I think is it a week tomorrow, Wednesday? Yeah, it is. Well, it's done well on two AA batteries. I've just left it there ticking away. I haven't done anything to it. Right. I'm just thinking, I'm sure there was something else I'm forgetting. Nope. Oh. Um, apparently, Dad may have to have a scan on his pancreas. Because I think this is what they want to check for. They think it may have been caused by pancreatitis. If you get something like that, it can cause diabetes as a side effect. Um, basically, with his, his pancreas has just completely stopped functioning. That's what it's done. Which is why his uh, blood glucose levels went absolutely through the roof. Mine... The highest mine's gone is only a little above 20 on our scale. I can't remember what the name of our scale is called. But I know in America and Australia, you guys use a different scale. But on ours, in the 40s, is extremely bad. Um, <clears throat> on a bad day, mine will probably hit about 20. But mine is usually a lot lower than that. On our scale, around about 5 to 5.5 is normal before a meal. And after a meal, it should only go up to about 7, 8, something like that. Any higher, and it's a bad indication. Not necessarily diabetes, because it depends on what you've eaten as well. But uh, I think my normal on a good day is usually around about seven or eight anyway. Always has been. <clears throat> Soon enough I've got over the top because I can't stop peeing. It's usually every 15 to 20 minutes I'll end up going to take a pee, which is annoying. Um, <clears throat> which is what happened when I stuffed too many of those candies up there. Which reminds me I'm sitting here. There's only a few left, but these ones are actually probably one of the worst things you can eat when you're diabetic as a treat. I'll show you these ones, which are covered in sugar as well. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> Don't. So I've got these pink pig's heads here as well. Uh, they've been open for far too long so I'm not going to trust them they've been sitting up there in an open packet for about a week so oh yeah I've got the tail light here that I've made up to go on the uh, kids bike over there it's going to be mounted on that sh on that baggage rack so this sits in the middle and I've got the two wires there ground at the bottom here live up there I just got to figure out which is which out the two wires on the bike. It's easy enough, I'll just trace them back to the dynamo. Because one's it's like this, one's plain black and one's black and white stroke. So I can soon identify them. I don't need to use my uh multi meter wherever that's disappeared to. Oh it's over there. <coughs> I 
protect the rights of EU citizens living in the UK. I can't see how us leaving the EU would affect their rights anyway, but I'm not, you know, I'm not knowledgeable on that sort of thing anyway, so. It might, it might not, I don't know. It'd be a shame if it did. Oh, I do hate arrogant and ignorant bastards. A friend of mine has just put, so I've been very aggressively told that due to being male, white, British, and a furry, I have no opinion and should stay silent and let those with a more important voice speak. And then he's put in another paragraph, well, go fuck yourself. If you disrespect my rights and what my society stands for, go fuck yourself. I quite agree. Doesn't matter what you are, what hobbies you're into, your opinion, especially on your own society, where you live and what not, is important regardless. That is actually quite a Victorian view. You're lower than me, you're scum, you have no opinion. It's exactly how Victorian Britain was. I know we've got a lot to thank the Victorians for, because we've got a lot of inventions, you know, that have led to... Well, a lot of inventions back then that have led to what we have nowadays, but... They were still assholes. Stuck-up, snobbish assholes, which, uh, unfortunately, is still present in modern society. Not everyone who's wealthy is like that. I do know some, you know, I do know personally some people who have a fair bit of wealth. You know, that don't look down the end of their nose at you, sort of thing. So, um, actually I know quite a lot of people like that. But you'll, there's still some out there that think, you know, just because they have thousands if not millions in the bank and they drive around in those cars, got the huge five-bedroomed house or whatever that uh, everyone else is basically scum and aren't worth their time even though it's us scum that put the money in their pockets in the first place but <laughs> there you go that's just the uh, mindset of people I'm afraid as I've always said I don't give a rat's ass where you come from, what your religion is, as long as you don't try and force it onto me, and just let me be me, and I'll let you be you. I'm not fussed. Even if I don't agree with some of your religious views, I'll still let you be you and believe what you want to believe. You know? Like I said, as long as you don't just don't try and force it onto me. <clears throat> that's the only rule I have. Let me, let live and let live. So in other words, I'll let you live exactly how you want to live. You let me ha live how I want to live. You can't get any fairer than that, can you? <clears throat> bit of wind. It was a bit smelly as well tonight. Have you noticed though, since I've laid off a lot of lactose laden food items, I haven't been nowhere near as flatulent. Might be a bit flatulent tonight because I had beans this morning and I had eggs for dinner. <laughs> that might be why I'm a bit windy. <laughs> I've tried a different um, dairy-free butter as well, or marge, whatever you want to call it. Just because it was on offer. <laughs> and I needed some today. So, um, flora... I can't remember what it's bloody called now. <laughs> Freedom. 
see that advertising actually not a bad it's better. It really is large. Well I don't actually know what you price it as. But it's nice, it's got a nice taste to it. But I've noticed some of the it was on offer for one pound, but its usual price is one pound seventy. I was like, ow, there's only a little tub. I say little tub is about the average size over here, I don't know why, they don't do large tubs anymore. I can't remember if it's a 500 gram tub they do. Fuck it, come on, I'll show you. You can't tell me you want more food in your bloody ditch. <laughs> Lights. Lights. Mm -hmm. This is what I've got. For freedom, dairy free. Sixty percent lower in saturated fat than butter. Therefore you're in more ways than one then. One pound seventy for that is the usual price. Um at least the bloody lid stays on this. What's the weight of this tub? See there's even sugars in this. 0 0.5 grams, not a lot, but it's still there. I was right, 500 gram tub. It's you, We still do get the larger tubs over here, but for some reason this size seems to be the most popular. I don't know why. I really don't. Got the camera point that, you know, I haven't been watching the battery. Oh crap, we're gonna die. <laughs> I've actually got no battery bars showing on the battery, so I'm going to disappear. So, uh, I'm just going to say uh, thanks for watching. Bit of a boring vlog. Well, I think most of my vlogs are boring. Which is why I did the um, dismantling videos and whatnot. Anyway, I'll uh, talk to you again at some point tomorrow. So, um, see ya.